you. Uh, well, uh, well, where does she? Is it? In a, uh, are there black people there? <laughs> oh my God! Where what does the that have to do with it? Well, Why is it harder if there's black because people there? Because black people are generally poor. And poor people are generally dangerous. <laughs> oh my God! Wow, I can't Norm. You just went there. What? Black people are rich. Black, they're black people <laughs> span all the strata. No, 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 no. And you, you're saying you, you, you got to check your statistics. And, oh no, black God. people are poorer than white people. You didn't know that. <laughs> Are you telling Norm. me that you think black? What I'm saying is that I don't. I try not to pigeonhole people into, into black people truth. are poor, not into the truth. But, but listen, there's a huge ignored middle class black population out there. How dare you say black people are poor and therefore dangerous? Because I want them to be not poor. That's why. And really, how are you gonna? What's your plan? My plan is to first of all uh, admit that the the black people have less money than white people. Because we Black live in people, a racist society. Our phone society. number is 800-400-FM97. <laughs> oh if you'd like to talk with Norm McDonald, I'm sure he'd love to take your call Absolutely. right now. <laughs> Michelle, you're on the air. Oh. I just want to say that was one of the funniest things I've ever heard. And you need What, to, that black people not, are poor? It's you know, hilarious. The, the teacher thing, and oh. you need to probably act like you're not offended by that because first, you don't have a right to act like you're offended. And that was funny as hell. He is right about black people being poor. You know it. I know it. Oh, and my God. What it. has happened on this show? <laughs> well, he taught us a lot today. I think moms. Oh, it's a learning show. Moms well, an easy job. Happened. Teachers Where have you guys easy been job? living for the last 300 years Steve, in this country? Steve, you're on the air. Normie. Yeah, hey, baby. Hey, you were awesome on the Bob Saget road. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. That's nice of you to say. You're the best all time on the roast, actually. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> all right, hold on, Paris. You are on the air. I think that that is completely untrue. Go How on. Can, not all black people are poor. Amen, sister. White. Well, I didn't say that. That's what you. No, said. you said I black said people black have people less money have than less white people. Have less money than white people. You've yeah. been to West Virginia. Because there's some white people with no money there. Well, exactly. Well, okay, okay. You're saying one black person is uh, has more money than one yeah, white person. Like, what True. about Eddie Murphy? Yeah. What about Eddie Murphy? You're yeah. saying by and large, no, you're right. if, if you break you're right. it down, you're right. <laughs> yeah, of course, black people have less money than white people. In like a, as not an average, true. not all black people have less money than white. Uh, oh but he's talking God. in general. Okay, oh we God. all get what he's listen, saying. Listen, 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 listen. Guys in wheelchair. There's a guy in a wheelchair that can go faster than me in a race. But if I said guys in wheelchairs are generally slower than me, you know? Come the on. way you said it was so harsh. <laughs> that to Give say, your head a shake. Give your head a shake. <laughs> oh my God! All right, thank you. <laughs> hey, it's Danielle from Big Brother. Famously black woman. Uh, <laughs> Bring my 40 acres in a mule. I need my 40 acres in a mule. But Exa you know what? He's right. <laughs> he yeah. right. Go on, Danielle. I mean, if you think School about us. it, there's been cases where uh, the same person will apply for a job, and at times the other race gets the higher pay. I'm just keeping it real, folks. The All right. Thank you, Danielle. Absolutely. Chunky, yeah. you're on. Good morning, <laughs> Abnormal. How are you? How are you, Chunky? Mm -hmm. Hey, uh... What about Mexicans? Are they hard workers? And are Jews stingy? What, what's the rest of it? And why don't white people have any culture in this country? And I totally hear you about the iPod. I'm sick of all my songs, too. Oh, yeah? Uh, yeah. All right, I just am. sum it all up, Norm MacDonald. <laughs> well, I'm saying that uh, having less... Try to offend everyone equally. Ha having less money or having or, or not having less money is not a na is not a product of your of your nature. It's It's... It's 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 that you don't have the money because the white people don't give you the money. <laughs> it's actually supportive of black people to say that actually. Seven oh seven says. Of course, says, I'm supportive of black people. These I'm in, wow. a, I'm in a room of You're racists. You're saying that to have justice. Oh we should my all God! Have equal, uh... The four one five. The four one five says maybe we That's should educate funny. our children a la Lord of the Flies. Norm. Just throw all the kids on an island and let them sort out their own society. I can't read that. Yeah, that would probably be better. Yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> sure, throw them in there and just let the weak, sur the weak uh, be killed and the strong survive. And Jews no, that's what. Listen, money. that's I mean, what. That's, that's what. Thing. That's what we're doing as adults. The, you know, we're uh, we're doing that as adults. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with that. We are. I just got handed a note. <laughs> Do you want to keep him for the next segment? At this point, I'm not sure. 
<laughs> I'm finding Norm to be uh, somewhat on the offensive side. You know what, though? I love that he's saying all this stuff and then looks over with a big smile. I know, and big a, a smile. Seat. He's like, oh, man, they're going to talk about this all day. Uh, well, I didn't know that everyone. I thought I thought uh, San Francisco was a little more open than... Uh, no, San Francisco actually they're isn't. They're racist? Isn't, no, they're not racist. <laughs> Well, so far, so far, by the way, most people have agreed with me. <laughs> Lindsay, you're on the air. Hey, Norm. Hi, Lindsay. Hi, I teach fifth grade. Uh huh. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. Well, I'm sure it's hard. I mean, <laughs> and black people are rich. And I have some black kids in my class that are way richer and way smarter than some of the white kids. So. Okay, well, you know what? Black people are are richer than white people. Thank I, you. I made a mistake. Thank you, John. You're on the air. Hey, Norm. Hey. Hey, man. You were you were easily the greatest thing that ever happened at Saturday Night Live. Ah, uh, thanks, man. That's yeah, nice. Yeah, the say. greatest the greatest updates ever. You did Howard Letterman. Uh, All right, cool. thank you, John. All right, here's you know what we're going to do. Oh. What? Go ahead. I, Go ahead. Are we going to do another segment with him or not? I almost think we have to. Because I actually was in the audience when I, you know how I went to Saturday Night Live that one time? I do, and this is one of you my favorite stories. You did the stories. update. All right, hold on, yeah, hold yeah. that thought. We uh, are going to take a quick break. When we come back, Norm and his babysitter, Steve, will still be here <laughs> offending Frumpsy. people left and right. Stevie Ray from We're not offending anyone but racists. How do you figure? To make a sweeping generalization that belittles gen and it it's is. It's not a sweeping generalization. It's a statistical fact, and it belittles no one. It, it, it only it only states a fact that I hope we can change in this country. If we're going to pretend that black and white people make the same amount of money, then uh, then nothing will ever change. Come on, you know that. Can't we just see it as everybody? <laughs> well, we can see it any way you <laughs> want it. If you want to, Sarah's pretend. looking for some if you clean live in a fantasy out. world, I am. and I'm you're not going to find no, it. No, there's right. not a clean out. You're digging. I'm breaking. You're digging deeper we'll and deeper. We'll be back. Allison 97.3, Norm Macdonald, and Stevie Ray Fromstein are sitting in here with us. The texts are great. Yes. And thanks for the phone calls to 800-400-FM97. You can talk to Norm if you like. All right, our text number is 25423. You can call us at 800-400-3697. A text from the 650. I'm a black woman and Norm is right and hysterical. Sarah, you're living in a fantasy land if you think we're all equals. 805 says, rude. I'm a second grade teacher and I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> rude. That sounds like a second grade teacher. <laughs> uh, no, Jimmy, that was just rude. Can oh, you yeah, think of another way to, to say a, that? To be a second grade teacher, you just have to be smarter than a second grade student. <laughs> That's about the only thing you have to be. Oh, wow. Yeah, basically you need third grade intelligence. <laughs> to teach second grade. You know everything that they need to know. Uh, a fourth grade teacher, need, you know, if you're hey, a third grade a teacher, question. you need fourth grade. Here's a question. I don't want you. any more of your questions. No. No. What? Why, why do I always hear this from uh, women? Okay, what? That women make less money than men. I don't believe that that's, that's true racist. in every case. And I don't it's, believe that is Of course racist. not true in every case. <laughs> not true for me. Yeah, no, yeah. not not the case in this room. Exactly. I think things are changing, and see, I think that when see, it comes I to think, racism, things are changing, I think too. That black I, I'm lady, trying to look for the positive. I think that black lady made a good point. That Which you, one? Uh, that I'm living in I think her name was Ruth, land. that you're living in a fantasy land because the black people that you encounter probably make a lot of money. 707 on a text says, <laughs> I wish I was a fly on the wall during that last break. I think I heard Sarah yelling uh, at Norm up here in Healdsburg. I wasn't yeah, yelling. Every, every black no, person Sarah. I interview in this program has lots of money. <laughs> wow. No, she actually said she was wrong during that break. Yeah, which never has happened. No, I uh, said, ever. what I said was, I'll just say I'm wrong. Let's take a couple of uh, <laughs> of calls here. Actually, uh, a couple texts. If you only need three, third grade intelligence to teach second grade, I wonder what Norm would say about me, a preschool teacher. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's kind of obvious. And the 503 says, <laughs> Norm, thanks for Dirty Work. Still one of the greatest movies ever. What, what do I need to teach children how to nap? <laughs> Nina, you're on Ambien, I think. Hey, how you guys doing? Hi. Good. What's happening? Yeah, listen, the status in the society today is white man, black man, white woman, black woman. That's, you you that's think that's how, the hierarchy? That is the hierarchy. I actually have been doing HR statistical analysis for 13 years, and the perfect example of that is they're going to elect a black African-American president before they elect a white woman or a black woman African um, uh, president. I okay, agree. That's a I agree. Example right there. I agree completely with what she's saying. That that hierarchy yeah. is exactly right. 
So no matter what, if you're a man, you're at an advantage, and no matter what, if you're a woman, black or white, you're at a disadvantage. We we do everything, and we get no credit, we get no pay. you got to go out there and get it. I mean, I get my money because I act like a guy when I'm asking for a raise, and women ought to start doing that, you know, show me the money. Let's all do the Cuba Gooding Jr. dance. Show yeah, me the absolutely. money. Absolutely. All right, thank absolutely. you, Nina. Let's start our own. Uh, let's start our own movement, shall we? Uh, you got it. And by the way, the hardest job Spurred in the world on by is, Norm McDonald. Is, is McDonald's. the hardest job in the world is HR because I have to deal with squirrely people on a daily basis. <laughs> ah, squirrely. All right, thanks, Nina. <laughs> okay, hey, bye. Thank you, means. Laura. You're on. People squirrely. who don't want to come out and say hi, everyone. Thing. Hi there. Hi, I Laura. just wanted to give some love to Norm, put all the intense talk aside because I know he's Norm so bitchy is today. Isn't he? It's not intense. He's smiling and laughing and sitting back and laughing as Sarah just turns it's bright mad. red. <laughs> I know. That's I don't understand why people get so upset when he's just making observations of what he sees in daily life. All right, thank you. Nine two five says this show's great. Norm is so freaking funny from the working mom. Oh, yes. which I think so means is. she's a mom that's and works. Job. That's tough, boy. Uh, Maggie, you're on the air. It says here, being a teacher, super duper hard work. Uh, yeah, you know, I uh, I was an attorney for several years. I went to both law school, and I quit being an attorney to be a teacher. And being a teacher is much more difficult work. Is it super duper hard? That's what it says here. Uh, you know, I, I did not say super duper hard. That was either a uh, human. Yeah, uh, human put that in your subject line. There. Uh, and one final thing Why's, here. Uh, oh, go ahead. I was going to ask her why it was such hard work. But no, I hung not. up on her, yeah. But. Jeff, you're on. You get the last word. Yeah, hi, Norm. Hey, Jeff. Big fan. Been oh, a big fan ever since. Love, you used to love your sitcom, even. Oh, I thanks. was uh, sad to see it go. My favorite line on that was, but you're a huge whore. <laughs> um, and I was wondering, uh, were you a voice on The Family Guy? Is that a little catchphrase? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I did play death on The Family Guy. Uh, the 415 says, uh, Sarah is an uptake bitch living in fantasy land. She's keeping her cool because Norm is there, but if it were anyone else, she'd be throwing her usual fit. Norm rules. Uh, and, uh, Sarah, that, you, no. do, you do look a little like you're about to. I know. You do look a little restrained. Well, unfortunately, but you're passionate. You're passionate, and that's what makes you so attractive to me sometimes. Really? It does. You have, you have a lot of passion. I'm all bundled up today, too. But I can tell you got passion. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, Norm and Steve. <laughs> this is our first fight. I'm kicking you guys out of here now. Uh, we actually have to break here at Tommy T's all weekend uh, long. It is great to see you next oh, you time. Too. I'll be more prepared for your stunning statements that just <laughs> came out of left field. <laughs> I have to say, I get so pissed because I can. Are feel you going to rethink I, it now that everybody agrees with me? In the no, world? we're not going to rethink it at all. You're not going to. You I mean, don't you like know what? She's going to have a better argument next time. Yes, is that's what right. It'll I'm going to fight this fight <laughs> mentally for the next six months.